Hey, hello, I'll try my quick video. Uh, Group Galaxy here. I went to uh, Steel City NerdCon today, hosted by Vintage Games and Junk in uh, Sault Ste. Marie. And this is the stuff I came home with, plus something else I'll talk about at the end. Um, some video gamers are probably going to hate me. Um, let's see what I first started off with. Uh, oh, the thing I'm going to show at the end. Okay, never mind. Next on the list. I found this $5.1080 snowboarding for the Nintendo 64. I'm pretty sure it'll also be in English because I'm pretty sure the English one's also in Japanese. Um, I also got this. And the person was telling the truth about it. Like, they had, he had four of them. And it, all of them said one of 150. This is how the company did it. But these are screen-worn movie uh, wardrobe, like from a Star Trek movie. And I'm going to be giving this to a friend of mine as a Star Trek fan. They just think it would be a cool thing to have in his collection. Uh, got a discount sticker. It was in a mistakes pile, I think it was, for a dollar. As you can see, there's a white line going across it. They printed out stickers. Uh, the kid I was with, wasn't my little brother, the kid I was with, though, uh, family friend or relative, I guess you could say. Oh, focus. Uh, had an Eevee theme. He bought an Eevee toy. Everybody thought it was a Pokemon trainer, so Sword was okay. He's like, oh, the, there's a cosplay outfit, so easy. So I bought one, he bought one of these, and we thought it's, it says freaking. G Max Cuddle, we, we we just thought that was adorable. He he stuck his on his fridge. Um, oh, speaking of fridge, yeah, I forgot about this. I put it on the fridge already. One second. Toad magnet. He uh he bought that from the same. I bought that from the same place. He got the clear one that you could just slide slide a card into. Okay, uh, what do we got next here? Major National. I actually bought this off. Uh, Svenny MCG, he was there, Mario Kart Tournament. I lost big time. I was like in seventh place, I think. And uh, the the kid I brought, he actually got second, but he couldn't make it the next round because he had to get first for the, fir the first round to go to the second. Oh, you, know, you know how that works. So I also got stickers. A guy was doing stickers. There's his name right there. He's the one that made uh, the decal. And the one I got, the... Uh, this off of, I think it might have been this, this guy. Uh, he also has a podcast. I'll be checking that out whenever I get a chance to. Uh, this guy, I think it was this guy or the guy next to him. I bought the last piece off of, I will, uh show that in a second but uh, this guy was giving away free pokemon cards to kid i asked for a gift uh, i asked for um, a business card and he's like oh here just take this and he's giving away these to all the kids where it's like it's like oh geez i thought it was three cards there's like five cards in here i don't know anything about pokemon so i will show those before i show the last thing um there's a musician there i think this is cool look at this card That's the coolest business card I think I've ever seen. Though similar to how our cards were for the tickets. Uh, let's see here. And T Pass Jouex uh, Video, which is video game in French. I came from Quebec, I believe. Um, they had some pretty good prices. I was looking at some stuff. I think I grabbed something. I don't remember. But yeah, I was all over the place. There was like, oh, geez, 30 different, 20 or 30 different vendors there. It was hard to keep, uh, keep track. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, I got a lot of, well, this guy did, uh, I think this is a guy that did, uh, um, what's it called? 3D printing. Yeah, we looked at his table, I asked him some questions, so I'll probably be contacting him in the future. Uh, I gotta contact this guy, because I'm gonna do some stuff with my logo, I think. Um, Mater National, I'm probably going to try out later on tonight, I don't know yet. Tandy Snowboarding, I can't, I already got that hooked up. Um, this I'm going to go to now. This is another reason why I wanted to record this, because I can also classify this as like a upper deck unboxing. Or whatever you want to call it, like a card reveal. I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> but yeah, I got this from uh, Mark's Autograph and Collectibles. Uh... Love his restaurant, love his uh, his hockey, his, ho his uh, sports hobby shop in the market mall. 
uh, one second. So, I don't want to edit this, so I'm just sort of doing it like this right now. I thought it was just going to be like a deck of cards and then all the sleeves, but no, 10 bucks. I'm pretty happy. Look at this. You got the sleeves, all the sleeves that fit the season, and three packs of cards plus this card, which I'm not even sure what this really is. I have to ask my uncle about this one. I think that's pretty cool. I don't have anything like that in my collection. I also got my uncle's doubles, that's why. But uh, I think I'll be opening these in another video. Oh, here's the booklet for it. Yeah, I think I'll go in more in detail video on uh, on this another time. What the heck are you? Just a... No, it came with a big poster? I don't have any hockey posters up anymore. I lost them in one of my moves. Is it like a big card? Yes. Yo, okay. I forgot about this. This is pretty cool. I don't know where I'm going to put this up. You know, maybe in the living room because we are a hockey house. I don't know if it really fit in my bedroom because of the video game theme, but uh, I do like hockey video games too. But, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to open these on camera another time, be easier. Plus, I also want to finish this Nerdcon video and uh, go into some detail on what else happened. I also got this for free, this Xbox hat, Xbox Live. The thing that caught our eye and we started laughing at was, hashtag, stop playing by yourself. Stop playing by yourself. That could probably take a couple different ways, we all laughed about that. Um... Right there. So, the last thing that I got, well, one of the first things I got, the last thing I want to show you is this mistake. And it's not the person's fault I bought it off of, it's my fault for being a dumbass. But I found a Nintendo 64 with slight damage that worked perfectly fine, he told me. I'm very trustful of people, and the si I've had 64 go through a flood, and it worked perfectly fine, so you know. But yeah, I got a 1064, a little bit of cosmetic, a little bit of uh, cosmetic damage. But other than that, it's uh, perfectly fine. As you can see, it looks really good. It's missing the cover, but who cares? It overheats anyway. The front's looking pretty good. That door's looks a bit, uh, bit out of whack right there, but no big deal. So the original problem was, the original problem was, the back was cracked out. Again, no big deal. And then I dropped it on the concrete showroom floor at the Bush Play Museum and blew the whole side out. So yeah, it was already cracked. People walked by and panicked, and I pulled it out of the bag. They're like, <gasps> so yeah, I only paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, video works 50-50. Didn't know about that. But for parts, it's a part system. I got another part system. So, 64, 20 bucks. All in all, I spent about mm, $50 there, roughly. Plus, I also got like lumps in that. But uh, yeah, five for the sticker, I think, five or ten. Um, and the kid I was with, I bought him some things too. I, that came about $15, we said roughly. Five for the game, five for the game. You were 20, I think. Uh, you were a dollar. You were a dollar. Hat was free. You were ten dollars. I got two of those. Oh yeah, the bag has all the pieces. I get the crazy glue back together for the Nintendo 64. So yeah, oh my dad wants to look at the hockey. But yeah, go ahead. Um, so yeah, that was fun. I'm gonna try to do it again. Another time I do it. Uh, I went to MyruCon. Um, I got one for uh, uh, Andrew too. Uh, my recon I, th I did, uh, with my ex-girlfriend, um, what was it, three, four years ago, before COVID, we dressed up as, like, uh, Shaggy and Valma, or Shaggy, Shaggy and Daphne, I don't remember, the videos are on my channel still, but yeah, um, my recon, now I did, uh, Steel City, uh, NerdCon was pretty freaking cool, um, if you want to go in the future, 
take money of an ATM beforehand. Some tables had Q. Some tables had uh, debit. I think it's called Q. The, you know, the cell phone uh, debit transaction system. Um, some didn't. And also, I just... At a thing like that, I'd rather have cash. It's just easier, and some things might have transaction fees. But I have to walk my butt and the skids ha half a kilometer down Queen Street to go to the BMO bank, get a $3 transaction charge because I'm not with BMO, and took about 90 bucks out. And I also borrowed 15 So it was worth it. I really I had a lot of fun. I actually, it was only, it was only from, I think, 12 o'clock until, uh, 6, and we were there the whole time from, like, 1 until 6, thir uh, 1 until, like, 5.30, I think we were there, 1 until 6, we were there, uh, I talked to, uh, towards the end, we were cleaning up, uh, like, put, people were cleaning up things, things away, I just sat down with, um, uh, Svenny MCG and talked to him for a bit about video games, and we're all talking about stuff, and I cried a little bit about that, <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, I was showing the kiddos with how Japanese games... Don't fit in, uh, oh, that's broken now. Don't fit in, uh, American 64s because of the pinout in the back of the puzzle piece notches. Oh, I gotta find my game bit screwdrivers. This needs some love now. Um, Mater National. I'm gonna try this out my modded 64. Uh, hockey cards. I'll go through whenever I get a chance to. Next video after this, probably. So, yeah, bye for now. Thanks for watching. My first Xbox Live hat. Xbox hat in general. I got a PlayStation hat. That's what I was wearing actually there. And I'll sh uh, I'll show you what I had on my outfit. One second. I was wearing my uh, Japanese PlayStation hat. My friend Ryder got me around Christmas. And on my jacket, I put my from the, this morning's video. I put the Star Fox keychain and Mario sixty four keychain. And on my zipper, I got my Nintendo sixty four keychain. So I'm going to take it off before it gets damaged. But yeah, I wore that. Some people dressed up, some people didn't. Yeah, the, like I said earlier, the kid I was with got uh, the same card. He got a couple of these, too. There's also a grab bag. You put $5 in. He paid for one. I paid for one. He's reached into a bag, and you pull a random deck of Pokemon cards out. Like a uh, pack of, like, store a couple years ago or whatever. Oh, uh, what else? I got him some uh, sleeves. Like, sleeves like a picture of Eevee on the back. It was Eevee theme this year. Everything was Eevee. I might stick Eevee on one of my Nintendos just as a memory. So it might fit there, actually. So, yeah. It was a fun day. Um, it was it was awesome. First time going to an actual, like, Comic-Con kind of thing. Like, what do, what do you call that? Like a local like con Comic-Con thing? Like a, well, nerd, nerd con. Pretty cool. Um, I'll end the video with a close-up of all the... All the cards I have and uh, some of the other things I, you know, saw when I was there. Bye for now and uh, thanks for watching. I forgot to show the Pokemon cards I got from the bonus box uh, games table uh, for free. He's also on the table I had the... Uh, the bag. I don't know anything about Pokemon, so I wish somebody you know could say something like, "Oh, what? Fourteen? This? This card is whatever, right?" I think I actually have one of these already. Next year, I'm thinking about opening a table there and bringing some of my doubles. Ooh, this card's a bit wrecked. This this card's been played with. <laughs> I don't mean wrecked as in it's garbage. I mean like it has, it's loved. I should have said it's loved. But yeah, these came from, like I said, uh, uh, bonus box games. Now on with the rest of the uh, cards. Putting everything away and I forgot some things. On the same table that had the uh, GameCube and the Atari set through like an old TV with dials, black and white, very staticky, was uh, Raccoon's VHS tape. CBC raccoons. Um, is this available streaming anywhere? Is it on the CBC Gem app? I wonder. Oh, Canada, am I right? And WKRP in Cincinnati. Um, VHS tapes. So yeah, it was five dollars for two. The guy said grab all three for five. He's trying to, you know, have less things to bring home. So yeah, two WKRP tapes and a raccoons tape. First time seeing raccoons on tape. 
Uh, WKRP, I think my dad would like and I would like, and Raccoon's I would my little, my little brother and I would like. And now to the gift card reel. And I'm also trying to find some online.